In this tutorial you'll be showing how to create something called a stepped section. This type of section falls under the category of technical detail when we're called upon to do slightly more complex graphics showing the internal details or how things assemble with one another. To do a step section, first of all you need to have a 2D drawing and as a minimum you would need to have an elevation and an end elevation. So you can see that I've created these here. This view here, elevation 2, was my base view and then I used the projected view function to get view 3. I can delete that and show you how I got that. I simply created a projected view from elevation 2 and placed it there. To create a step section, you use the tool up here called section. When you press the tool, it'll want to know what view you're going to act on. In this case, it's going to be the one noted as view 5. We'll click it once. Now the cursor turns into a cross here, and what we're trying to do is to place the section line. It doesn't really matter where you put it to begin with because it can be adjusted later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw here down, along, and down again. And I'm trying to create a shape that echoes the shape that you can see in view 5, the kind of dog leg shape of the bracket. When I complete my section line, what I need to do is right click and press continue. It will now begin to create the view. I'm going to pull across here, and I'm going to click to create the view. You can see right now that nothing's appeared and that is actually something we could have predicted because the section line is not actually on the object. You can see now that you can adjust the section line to move anywhere and you can see part of the drawing begins to appear. It's creating a section of what this object will look like when it's cut through where the section line falls. I'm going to pull this bit down now just by clicking and dragging and you can see that more of it appears. I'm going to pull this bit over too so that it passes approximately through the centre of the threaded feature. I'm just going to move some labels so you can see clearly what's going on. So this step section is known as section B and section B appears here or BB. So what we're looking at in section BB it's what the object looks like when it's cut straight down through here, but with a kind of dog leg shape here. The line kinks off to the left. It's perhaps not clear. Maybe it'll become clear if I show you a projected view from section BB. I'm going to pull that up there and click and press create. And you can see what's happened. My section isn't a straight section, it's a section that actually turns at a certain point. And the point's controlled by this. I can move this up, I can move this down. I can have full control of where the section falls at a later point, and it'll influence the other drawings that are created on the page. You can also maybe get a better idea of this if I right click on it, edit the view going to break the length there for the style and I'm going to make this rendered. You can see the threaded feature here and the threaded feature here. If we did a regular section where we didn't have a kink in the line, it was just purely, purely a straight line, it would look more something like this. So you wouldn't see all of the detail. The bit at the bottom wouldn't be cut and the top part would be. So a step section is used when parts maybe change direction or we want to see I cut through one point and I cut through somewhere else that lies on a different line. This drawing doesn't quite meet the standard that we'd expect. I'm going to delete it. But everything else you see in the page, provided it's labelled properly and it's annotated, as you've been shown, would meet the standard for what we'd call technical detail.